The German Chancellor Olaf Scholz is holding talks in Athens amongst the topics on the agenda are the EU energy crisis and uh, Turkish challenges to Greece's sovereignty over a number of islands in the eastern Mediterranean. Also featuring prominently in uh, the meetings are efforts to help Ukraine in its war with Russia. To this end, Berlin has been sending tanks to Greece, as DW Simon Young explained. Germany came up with the idea of supplying tanks to Ukraine via third countries shortly after the start of the war. Berlin wanted to help Ukraine, but said it did not have the capacity to send tanks directly. Some politicians felt it was unacceptable for German heavy armor to be used in a region where Nazi troops fought in the Second World War. Another argument, Ukrainian armed forces needed to be supplied as quickly as possible with systems for which they would not need training. So the plan was born. Countries with Soviet-era military equipment would send that to Ukraine and would receive modern materiel from Germany to replace it. Agreements like this have been announced with both Slovenia and the Czech Republic, as well as Greece. Poland has also sent many of its Soviet-era tanks to Ukraine, but is disappointed with what Berlin has offered as a replacement. Germany has delivered some heavy equipment directly to Ukraine, including self-propelled howitzers. But the drawn-out discussion and the delay in agreeing these tank exchanges via third countries has led to calls for Berlin to bite the bullet and send its modern tanks directly something that the Kiev government has repeatedly asked for. Let's go more on that from uh, DW's Emmanuel uh, Shaz. Uh, welcome, e Emmanuel. So clearly this war sparking differences between uh, European partners. Exactly. We've just uh, uh, talked about uh, tanks. We see just how difficult it is to coordinate, to decide uh, which weapons are sent to whom and then uh, which are pledged to Ukraine uh, in return. So there are uh, disagreements when it comes to defence uh, uh, about the quantity uh, of things that are being sent, about the timing as well. And of course, one of the biggest uh, bones of contention in the European Union is how to face the energy crisis that uh, is a result of Russia's war against uh, Ukraine. There are a number of member states which want uh, to have a price cap on gas prices. This is something that Germany opposes. This morning, uh, Olaf Scholz was talking to uh, Greece uh, prime, uh, the Greek uh, prime minister. Greece uh, don't, doesn't oppose those uh, price uh, caps. So Germany uh, is actually quite uh, isolated on the European stage when it comes to that. It's also single-handedly uh, decided to unblock 200 billion uh, euros uh, uh, to try and face the increasing uh, prices so Europe has to uh, have a show of unity, but we see there are many uh, uh, crucial issues, key issues, defence, energy, where, well, they still have to agree uh, on how to proceed. And there's an escalation amongst uh, NATO members that these uh, leaders are trying to fix. Well, uh, yes, escalation between NATO members. This morning, Olaf Scholz offered uh, Greece uh, his support, Germany's support, against uh, the claims uh, by uh, Turkey uh, that, uh, 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 over the sovereignty of some of uh, uh, the Greek islands, some inhabited, uh, uninhabited, sorry, Greek islands in the Eastern Mediterranean Sea. The Chancellor said that this was unacceptable uh, that uh, for one NATO member to question uh, the sovereignty of another and uh, to see one NATO member uh, making more or less veiled threats. And this comes uh, at a time uh, where uh, unity is crucial, when NATO is really trying to show unity. So uh, another uh, thing that has been discussed today in Athens between the Chancellor and the Greek Prime Minister. We're, we're intrigued by this, um, the, this idea of uh, Germany, which has always been such a, a hugely a pro-EU uh, country, being so isolated amongst its... Um, EU and NATO partners. How, how much is, of that is, is because of the, the nature of the coalition that, that is currently ruling the country? 
Well, it might not be so much something that has to do with the coalition, but perhaps, you know, Germany has often been at odds when it came to uh, dealing with economic matters in the European Union. You know, back in 2009, uh, Germany had become hugely unpopular uh, by uh, forcing uh, Greece to accept three uh, international bailouts to deal with its financial uh, crisis. Now Germany is talking about solidarity, but we see that sometimes it's still very much, uh, you know, uh, make decisions uh, on its own rather than uh, consulting the partners uh, first. We also saw some, some disagreement uh, with France that were uh, talked over yesterday uh, uh, with uh, France's President uh, Emmanuel uh, Macron. So I would say there are disagreements within the European Union. That being said, of course, uh, Germany is still uh, striving for unity there. Thank you for that. Uh, DW's Emmanuel Schaas uh, in Berlin.